Somebody asked if I've talked about the sticks yet. I have not. If you guys didn't see, I got sent a whole haul over by Quamba. And this is my professional arcade stick model. Obsidian is, for me, a stick that I played on a little bit, but it was the most used stick in my house. Every time someone comes over, it is the go-to stick that people want to borrow or use. I think it's probably the most popular standard arcade stick. This is the Obsidian 2, a rectangular stick. It's very, it's a wide stick. It's not like the stick that I normally use, which is the Panthera. The Panthera is very boxy. This is Razor's old stick. They don't even make this anymore. They're not in the market. The Panthera is much more boxy in the Obsidian, the Obsidian's way wider. You can see the control panels up here. L3 Turbo, I think that button's LED in the middle. Mute R3, there's a touchpad up there, and then there's these little sliders. Left stick, right stick in the middle, PS5, P PS4, PC. There's a lock button that locks all the stuff, touchpad up there, and then over here, PlayStation button. This at the top is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Is this not for lights? I actually don't know what this button is. Oh, that's the share button. Okay, that makes sense. A couple of things that they have that are new on this also, they have this like side panel. Yeah, they're little thumb screws. You can pull it off and then you can store your ball top in there. So that's like a bat top, it looks like. Oh, a little bat top. And then there's another compartment in here for the other one. This stick is not a stick where you can open it up and look at the insides easily and change stuff out. So then my question is, what is on this side? This is the uh, wire compartment, is that right? So there it is, very tightly bound in there, as you can see. They do not do detachable cables. What they do instead is they have a little slot. It comes out like this. Let me screw this back in. My first thought is this is not the most convenient way to store your cable. See that? So that's where the cable comes out from. 99% of people will probably not rewrap the cable every time they're done. They wrap it around the middle like this. Normally it looks a little bit cleaner, but putting it back in the door every time seems like something that's not easy to do. It's probably gonna take too long. Oh, that's very interesting. You can open the bottom. You can see where this is to see if there's anything going on in here. That's very interesting. I'm guessing if you want access to the rest of the arcade stick, you probably need to unscrew the screws on the back of it. Otherwise, there it is. This is the Obsidian 2. It comes stock with Sanwa stuff. It feels very nice. I can get the regular Obsidian and compare the size. I actually don't know which is bigger, so. It looks pretty, pretty similar, right? The other stick I got, is really interesting. We have a new challenger. This is a new stick. This is the Titan. Also black on black. Same kind of stuff, right? Touchpad, same switches, 3.5 millimeter jack, much boxier. The other thing is the distance, the lever spacing, exactly. Look at how far that is, right? Compare that to what we saw earlier. That is a lot more space for your hands to get comfortable. Might take some time to get used to if you're used to the standard distance on arcade sticks, but yeah, this is pretty unique. Back, same as the Obsidian 2. This is a much boxier stick, obviously, a more similar shape to the Panthera, which is why this one really interests me. Let me feel this. Whoa, this is so strange. This is so far. Cable compartment, again, it tucks into the bottom of the stick here. This is where the cable goes. So no detachable cable again on the side here, connected, and then boom, down there. Look at how much space, like you have a whole hand's worth of space there. And it's probably very easy to play. Let's try, let's get the Obsidian for comparison, right? Much closer, right? Obviously, much closer. There's no start and select on the side, right? So everything is up top. You can fit a burrito in between. I could definitely fit a burrito in between this. Accidentally hit the touchpad. Oh, I suppose that is possible, but you could lock it, right? So this, this right here, this switch locks the stuff. If you lock it, I think it locks this, right? So you could just lock it. You guys know what combo I just did? Typhoon. <laughs> There was a typhoon. Like I said, I love the obsidian. I think the obsidian is a super dope stick. This stick is extremely interesting to me. I have always been a Panthera fan. And I think that this stick is a Quamba version of a stick of that style with a different layout. And particularly now, I expect with PlayStation 5 being a bit more common, PS5 compatible sticks natively will be a little bit more important for some people, depending on the game. I'm very curious. I'm gonna crack this open and slot in some buttons. 
and uh, probably try this for a little bit, see how I feel. For me personally, I like heavy boxy sticks. That's what I'm looking for so that it doesn't slide around in my lap and it's a little bit more narrow of a shape. I'm pretty sure the Titan is also cheaper than the Obsidian by a bit. I'm gonna do some gaming with these and I will report back. I'll let you guys know what my verdict is. Should I try the stick for a bit? Trying to see my wacky behemoth. Uh, where's the restart? This one, okay. The start button is not where I expected. Not possible, even with a new stick. It's very weird looking, but I have to say it feels better on the hands than I expected. I feel like I should just go try Marvel 3 combos. Should we try the, uh, the Flames of the Fall Team loop? I never learned how to do it. Mm, 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 mm. Do I even have a team save? No. You want to like play neutral in this game? You do this. That or you do this. What's the... That's what it is. You want to play neutral with Spencer? You do this. What's the combo? Something like that, right? I, I never played Spencer. So the combo is like... What is it? You do this. You do this, and then you do grapple into this, into this, right? And then you hard tag, and then you do this, right? Isn't that the combo? Oh, I win the game. <laughs> so I'm from my memory, the way the loops work, is you do launch, impact bomb into, what's flames? Flames of the fall team, right? Oh, it's like that. Yeah, I've never really played any of these characters. So what do you do after you hit them with some impact palms? Don't you like impact palm and then, tell what's the teleport? It's not dagger of the night. It's not that either. Reverse DP? Oh. And then he does impact palm, flame, impact palm, land. He doesn't even teleport. Uh, let me do this. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, that makes way more sense. Man, I was doing some complicated shit when it's not that complicated. I just can't get over this game's art style. It's so bad. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> ah, that's pretty good. Yeah, something like that. That looks a little bit better. That height looks better. I play Nova. I really am a white boy. It's actually the opposite. I don't play Nova. I don't even plan to play this team or anything. I just played this because I've never learned how to do the Flames of the Fall team loop. And I have a new stick, so... I was like, maybe I should try this. I don't, I don't want to play this team. Yeah, you got to hit them high on the, on the feet, it looks like. This game is the, uh, everything the characters say, you want to repeat. So like, that's how you know the audio in this game is the best. Eat lead, fire in the hole, suck on this. See you later. See you later. You like, you like that? Energy javelin. Feel my power. Human rocket punch. Impact palm. Flames of the flames of the impact palm. Where's my Virgil bombos? How dare you ask that question of me? You know who taught everybody know how to do Virgil sword loops? I bet you can open up YouTube right now and figure it out. I did that to everybody. I'm sorry. I mean, they would have figured it out eventually anyway, but I watched a video of a Japanese Virgil player doing sword loops and then was like, whoa, 
Is there like a guide anywhere on how to do that? And there was no guide on YouTube at all. So then I I watched the video in slow-mo, learn how to do the combo, learn how to do the different variations of it, and then made a video on YouTube. And there, that's it. I love this game. I like this game more than Street Fighter 4 for a lot of Street Fighter 4's lifespan as a spectator and player. I also thought this game was shitty many times. Like everybody who plays this game did. We all have our like days where we're like, Marvel is like actually the worst game. I remember many times being like, how can someone think this game is good? This game is so shitty. Usually after losing to somebody who is just like extremely degenerate and being like, you know, this game allows people like you to win. And that was where I was at in life. And then recognizing later on that it also allowed people like me to win. Because, sure, it allows people that I think are shitty to win. But it allowed me to win and I was shitty. So, like, it's truly like an inverse law of shittiness. It is funny you guys say that I, there was a timeline where I just did League and Call of Duty stuff. Because there was definitely, I mean, I did it for a little while too. But there was definitely a timeline where that could have happened, yeah. I don't know if I ever talked to you guys about this, but I got asked to do something for League of Legends in 2020 for the LEC. Quickshot reached out to me and said, we're interested in having you come through and host the desk for League of Legends. I was gonna do it, but then, you know, COVID. There we go. The glory ghosts of Aga. Alright, let's see if I can do them together. Wait, I don't I have to figure that part out. Look at that. Nova is a stupid ass character, you know that? Like, I've never played him before, but I'm already like, damn, my neutral? The hardest part is all the stuff Doctor Strange does. The hardest part about playing Nova is doing the Flames of the Fall team. Moving around with this character after doing this is really funny. I've never really played this character either. This isn't even a hard combo. And also, this character's combos are like... Maybe one of the easiest in the game. Even if you don't have an assist, you can just do this. What's the bubble? Is it back? No, it must be DP. Oh, that, this combo. Oh, okay. The dolphins, though. That's what you guys have been doing all these years. This is the shit you guys have been hitting me with. I, I was giving credit and shit. Like they whiff a button first. Like, oh, how did I see that come? Oh, cross up. Who could have seen that coming? Like you guys have been doing this shit the whole time, and I've been like, damn, look at him go. This is how I've been dying at round start, and this shit took me. Th Man, that I sh oh no, I did not show the incoming mix up. That's a great point. I don't even know how to do it. Let's try it. I just call the assist and air dash over or 2M under. I'm not getting a really good timing for it though, either. But you can also do this. Too. You can like jump over too. Dude, look at how sick this game looks. Look at Doctor Strange idle stance where he's holding his hands like this. And then he like touches his chin. Welcome to the world of Marvel vs. Capcom 3.
You know the nice thing about this team is you get to play all ASs. You don't have to think about it. Similar to how I was making fun of people for um, whiffing a button before doing whatever, you just whiff a button and do this. This is all the neutral you need with this character. <laughs> what are the odds that I remember how to do any of this? Man, fighting games are wild. I had so many cool mix-ups with that too, because it was not techable. You want to know how to play Dante chat? I'll teach you. You do this, right? You guys ready? That's how you play Dante. You want to you have a good Dante? It's very simple. You do this. You actually have really good noosh. It is about time. Not only is it food time, I also have a meeting at 5 p.m., which means it's bedtime.